Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you the full plan that you can expect to go through for the Paint Your Pet course. This has been my signature course for the last 10 years and I am thrilled, so thrilled, um, to be bringing this to you as an online course so that way more students, more people have access to painting. In the last three videos, I did share with you how the Lovejoy Method is gonna help you understand the process of painting by utilizing the value scale and give you the confidence that you're actually more creative than you've been giving yourself credit for over these years. So again, I'm really excited to help you paint something that you love and kind of change your perspective on your own creativity and kind of the way that you view the world. So now back to revealing the steps of the Lovejoy Method, which will guide you to be more creative and give yourself more credit for your own creativity, as well as justifying the decision to sign up for the course. In video two of this series, I spoke about how to pick your pet photo. And from the earlier video, you do know that a good pet photo will help you create a strong composition for your portrait, as well as bring out the personality of your pet. You're also gonna learn how to acquire your supplies. And I'll go over the quality supplies that will aid in your painting process. You will find recommendations um, for supplies within the course and Amazon has a nice option of being able to buy a full kit or you can purchase supplies individually. We're also gonna go over uh, printing your pet photo and transferring it to the surface. Having the outline of your pet transferred to the surface will allow you to jump right into the painting process. And you don't have to worry about drawing it freehand, you will be tracing it on top of your printed photo. You're also going to learn how to mix your paint and paint the background in your favorite color. By painting the background in your favorite color, it will personalize your portrait as well as get you comfortable with the process of painting before you move into doing the value scale of your pet's fur. Now, when we get into the value scale of your pet's fur, that is going to be the fun part. We're going to be utilizing your power of observation and starting with the dark spaces, transforming your canvas into a portrait painted entirely by you. A signature part is gonna be painting soulful eyes. Like I mentioned earlier, the eyes are the gateway to the soul. And this is the magic moment of the whole process. This is where you really will impress yourself. You're also gonna have the ability to add personal touches to your painting. This is your painting. You have the freedom to add anything to honor your pet. You can change out colors. You can add um, fake flowers or tags. Something else I recommend to all my students is don't judge your painting too harshly. As you go through the process, um, we tend to be a little negative on ourselves when we don't need to be. You are stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something creative so you need to be kind to yourself. I also recommend that when you are completely done with your painting, um, to don't judge it until the next day. I want you to go to sleep, look at it in the morning, and keep in mind that your brain's tired by the time you are done painting. So if you assess it after a good night's sleep, you tend to be a little more impressed with yourself and give yourself more credit for all the work that you put into a blank canvas. So I will remind you those as we go through the course. And no matter what you do, remember, artwork and creativity is all about the progress, not perfection. And when you are completely done with the painting, I am gonna recommend that you paint again. Uh, most people have more than one pet, and if you don't have two more than one pet, you hopefully know somebody that has a pet, or you can even paint one of your childhood pets. But I want you to keep building on your skills. Practice, practice, practice. What you learn in this first painting, you will apply to your next painting. And then the next painting that you do, you'll apply. This is an exponential growth process for the creative efforts. So keep on pushing your skills. And hopefully you do notice that you are so relaxed after painting. Um, and that creativity is gonna be a nice stress reliever and a new confidence builder for you. 
So all of this is and more will be covered in the upcoming Paint Your Pet course. And I'll show you in more detail how to transfer your photo to the canvas, how to mix your paint, how to see your pet from a whole new perspective. You're literally going to be able to watch over my shoulder as I walk you through all of these steps. Now, since I've been teaching this class for over a decade, I have so many amazing student pet portraits um, to share with you in the next video. I will also share feedback and tips from my prior students to aid you in your creative journey. I am so proud of every single one of my students that came through the class and truly impressed themselves. I hope uh, that you find their efforts just as impressive and I can't wait to share them with you. So I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Yeah.